subscribe to Flame and Concert Time. Yo, what's up, guys? Flame here, and today we're gonna be looking at Smash Ultimate Gibberish. So you may be wondering what that is. Well, it's gonna. It, okay, so the title of this has nothing to do with what we're actual. I mean, it does, but it. Do okay, let me just explain. Okay, so there's some moves where it sounds like they're just like, nah. In that case, it's how I got my job in voice acting. But it actually sounds like English words. So we're going to be translating that gibberish to actual words. First off, I'm going to start off with Incineroar. And the reason I'm doing that is because this was an early one that people knew about. So, just listen. It sounds like Incineroar saying mid-tier. That sounds like Incineroar, obviously. When he does that, it sounds like listen. When he does this, it just sounds like a roar. And that I don't even know what that is. Side B. It's just another roar but the main thing I want to talk about is how he says mid-tier it just made me laugh so much and it just seems like a good offline taunt to do and other than that he seems like a pretty solid we're calling these characters gibberish man it's it's like a new race all right, moving on to the next character we got. We got Terry, which oh, I'm just gotta say, I freaking love how Terry's. No, okay, so I don't think anyone else is gonna get this. Only I'm gonna get this, and maybe a couple of you guys watching. Okay, so let's um, let's do his input. It may sound like burst. Right there, it sounds like brownie. And right there, it sounds like you're out of the cult. Starting off strong, I like this. Yep, brownie again. And next, I heard rising tattoo. Just kidding, I'm a freaking idiot. Because he actually says rising tackle instead of rising tattoo. I, I, oh my god, I just, I, I'm so sorry. Rising tattoo. Rising tattoo, and I heard it. I heard it. Okay, right here. Rising tattoo. Yeah. Okay. I I I've never heard that one before. Rising tattoo. Yeah. Rising tattoo. Rising tattoo. Rising tattoo. See right there, you just heard him say. Bagel. Come hey, come on, come on, and get your bagel. Right, here we go with our next character, Ganondorf, and you may find this one kind of obvious. But, yeah, it may seem kind of obvious. You know, the ever famous move, his up air to landing. It's some. It's may sound just like him grunting but you may not know this but it's actually ganondorf's constipation so leave a like if you don't want ganondorf to be constipated in the next patch okay so obviously i was joking what i'm really talking about is his ever famous hua. it says your mom obviously all right and yeah Okay, yeah, you know I'm definitely joking with that, too. But, let's just go to the move. You probably know what it is. It's this move, his F-Smash. What? Did you say it sounded like he said Doria? Wrong. Did you think it sounded like... Your mom? Wrong. It did not sound like your mom. And no, that's not the insult. It's literally him saying your mom. No, it's not. But what does this sound like? 
Yeah, that's right. He said, Who are you? Who are ya? Just listen. That's right. He doesn't know who Sans is. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, we all know this is ever famous Doria. His ever famous Doria that everybody knows about. But we're about to get into something even more famous. And Ganondorf doesn't know who he is. It's Sans Undertale. And you may be like, no, this is just the standard me gunner. You have no idea what you're talking about. But if you listen very carefully, you can hear it. If you listen very closely and follow these rules, you'll be able to do this properly. So first, you need to land the first two hits of up air, and that's it. There you go. You got the first two hits of up air. Then you want to land a down air. Then you want to have your down B. Then you want to jab. You want to do your full jab. Then you want to get your grab and hit it three times. There you go, you have your full moveset. And it may be hard to hear, so I'm gonna compile it for you. So, I hope you enjoy it. And ever since then, Ganondorf always thought about the way he was dressed.